With the ongoing efforts to prevent the spread of COVID-19 worldwide, we hope that the outbreak may subside in a few months. As with SARS and MERS, World Health Organization is gathering the latest scientific findings and knowledge on coronavirus disease, recently renamed COVID-19, and compiling it in a database. The entries in the database may not be exhaustive and new research will be added regularly. There are two basic approaches to stopping viral infections. One is to block an enzyme the virus needs, either to make copies of itself or infect cells. The other is to make a monoclonal antibody based on a recovered patient's immune response. Researchers are already testing the first idea with an experimental broad-acting antiviral remdesivir, which works by gumming up a virus' ability to replicate. The drug is being tested in China on patients who have COVID-19. This was the medication used on the United States' first case of COVID-19, and that patient survived. A study published last week found that remdesivir successfully reduced respiratory symptoms. In another study, a biopharmaceutical company is hoping to use a gene silencing technique known as RNA interference to turn off key genes in the new coronavirus. But first, the company must identify viral genes to target. The second basic approach is to go after the virus with molecules derived from the immune system. The idea is to make monoclonal antibodies, which are tailored proteins that are known to stop a particular virus. Virus. That's the approach of a Canadian biotech firm called Abcellera. They are trying to identify antibodies from patients who have recovered from infection because their finely tuned immune systems have already figured out a way to clear the virus. Abcellera is part of the Pandemic Prevention Platform, a program run by the Federal Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA. The company has developed a rapid way to analyze the blood from a recovered patient. In less than a day, they can look through many millions of different immune cells and find the antibodies that can be turned into a monoclonal drug therapy. The physicochemical property of COVID-19 has not been clarified clearly yet. It is thought that COVID-19 is sensitive to ultraviolet radiation and heating. The virus can be inactivated by heating at 56 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. Lipid solvents such as 75% ethanol, chlorine-containing disinfectant, peroxyacetic acid, and chloroform, but not by chlorhexidine. In a very recent work by a research team led by doctors Zheng Fu Xiao, Wu Zhong, and Ji Hong Hu, the antiviral efficiency of the FDA-approved drugs, including ribavirin, pencyclovir, nitazoxanide, nefamostat, chloroquine, and two well-known broad-spectrum antiviral drugs, remdesivir and favipiravir, were evaluated against the clinical isolate of COVID-19 in a cell culture infection model. The authors found the two compounds, chloroquine and remdesivir, potently blocked virus infection at low micromolar concentration and showed a high selectivity index. Approved nucleoside analogs favipiravir and ribavirin may have potential against COVID-19. Nitazoxanide antiprotozoal agent with an antiviral potential against against a broad range of viruses, including human and animal coronaviruses, inhibited the COVID-19 at a low micromolar concentration. Host-targeted agents such as pegylated interferon alpha 2A and 2B, approved for the treatment of hepatitis B virus and hepatitis C virus, could be used to stimulate innate antiviral responses in patients infected with COVID-19, and trials involving interferons have been initiated. The rapid identification of effective interventions against COVID-19 is a major challenge. Thank you for listening. Please like and subscribe for more health tips. Be safe and be healthier.